This, of course, is the iPad mini, and I have to tell you the story behind this is actually really simple. The first time they came out with the iPad mini, we've already, of course, put the cover, the very versatile cover on this. The first time the iPad mini came out, it was a huge hit because the portability that this afforded, how light, how amazingly well-built it was, how beautifully Apple put it together, was actually remarkable. Huge seller, continued to sell even now, even though the iPad mini 4 is many years old. So when the announcement, the rumors of the iPad mini 5 started to come, out, the biggest rumor was that just like some of the other tablets they've taken out, this would have absolutely no border. It would be actually completely and totally edge to edge. Can you imagine? This would have almost been about 8.7 to 8.8 .8 inches, maybe even 9 inches in the exact same form factor. And that would have been a killer. So everything else is great. This is a performance-led iPad mini 5, but could they have done something with the screen? Just like the Minions, the Minis are cute. We have always liked to use the iPad Mini and now finally after three long years, there is an update to this amazing piece of tech. Dissing the rumours, the new 2019 model of the iPad Mini is here in India and costs Rs 34,900 for the Wi-Fi model and Rs 45,900 for the Wi-Fi plus cellular model. We have got the 256GB Wi-Fi plus cellular variant for review. And while we have loved the compact iPad in the past, is the 2019 upgrade worth a buy? At first glance, it looks completely like its predecessor, but underneath the similar exterior, there are subtle and relevant changes. The laminated 7.9-inch Retina display with 2048 by 1536 resolution is as beautiful as before and the viewing angles are fantastic. The new iPad supports True Tone, the display technology that automatically adjusts the screen's white balance to match the ambient light in your surrounding environment. The iPad Mini 5 comes with Touch ID and has a lightning port. However, there is no Face ID on it. We would have liked if the bezels were slightly reduced and there was Face ID on board, but keeping the same design at least saves us on the cost of buying new accessories, as the old iPad Mini 4 accessories can also be used here. One of the big changes is the processor. The A12 Bionic chip with Neural Engine is a big step, as it is the same chip found in the current generation iPhones. Like the iPad Air 3, the iPad Mini 5 also benefits from 3GB, making it powerful for whatever tasks we throw at it. With iOS 12 and the new Bionic chipset, the OS ran super smooth. We ran two apps side by side in split view, multitasked. Basically, did a lot but no hang ups. The other addition is the compatibility with the Apple Pencil. Not the new, the old one. So don't buy the new pencil, folks, it won't connect. Apple Pencil is really useful for drawing, taking notes, editing photos, and even on the 7.9 inch, it does the job well. Coming to optics, only the front camera got bumped up with 7 megapixels from the 1.2 megapixels on the iPad Mini 4. We tried FaceTime, and yes, it did look better. There is an 8 megapixel camera on the rear, which is the same as the predecessor. However, when we tried augmented reality apps, it gave a decent enough experience. The Selguru verdict. Let's be honest, there is no competition to the Mini at this size in the tablet market. It's a small wonder that doesn't boast of a big face but is the best and only one that rules its category. Those who have loved the size of the Mini before will love using the upgraded Mini 5 too.